Hi, welcome back to Buona Papa. Do you think that kids can get addicted to a vegetable recipe? Well, yes, if it's the zucchini cheesy balls that we're going to prepare together. This recipe is super yummy and totally passed the mozzarella string test. I opened my zucchini balls in half and there was a lovely cheesy mozzarella string still connecting them. First thing to do, we're going to grate the zucchini using the large holes of the grater. Do not squeeze the extra water out, simply transfer the zucchini in a bowl and set them apart. In a skillet, add the olive oil and the garlic minced. Cook at medium heat for one minute, up until the garlic starts getting a nice golden color. It's time to add the grated zucchini, adjust with salt and cook, stirring for four to five minutes up until the zucchini will release the water first and then absorb it. Turn the heat off and let cool down for five minutes, then transfer in a bowl. Add the breadcrumbs, the egg, the mozzarella, grated Parmesan cheese and basil leaves roughly chopped. Mix well to combine all the ingredients. With your hands, create small bowls with one tablespoon of the zucchini mix. In a bowl, add half a cup of breadcrumbs and coat the zucchini bowls. Place the bowls on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and keep going to use all the zucchini mix. You should obtain more or less 16 zucchini bowls. It's time to refrigerate your zucchini balls in the tray for half an hour, 30 minutes, nothing more. Then you're going to remove them from the fridge, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on top and bake the zucchini balls in the preheated oven to 400 Fahrenheit degrees for 15 minutes. Then I added five extra minutes in broil or grill mode for a total of 20 minutes to get the nice and golden color. Color. Remove from the oven, let them cool down five minutes and simply enjoy. This is an amazing recipe that you can prepare even ahead. Are you looking for an egg-free recipe? No problem. You can substitute the one egg in, with two options. First one, one tablespoon of chia seeds mixed together with three tablespoons of water. Or one tablespoon of ground flax meal mixed together with three tablespoons of water. Those are two different egg substitutes that you can use for this recipe. Picky eaters, uh, sometimes uh, the green color is not very welcomed by picky eaters. For this recipe, you have an alternative. <laughs> Instead of using the traditional green summer squash or zucchini, you can use the yellow summer squash or yellow zucchini. Same vegetable, same taste, just the color will change. So my suggestion is to prepare the first time the recipe using the yellow zucchini and you will obtain a kind of uh, um, light brownish, yellowish uh, little zucchini fritters. And if your kid will start liking the flavor of the recipe, and it will because it's super yummy and cheesy, then slowly you, you can substitute the yellow zucchini with the green one gradually. Like for another recipe, you try with two yellow zucchini and one green one, and then slowly you add the green one so that the taste will remain the same. Your little one will trust the recipe because it's a recipe that he likes and he knows. And slowly he will start also liking the green color inside. <laughs> Do you want to freeze this recipe? Yes, you can. You can either freeze the zucchini balls before baking them or after baking them. Same time, uh, you can freeze them for up to three months. How to thaw the zucchini balls? If the zucchini balls were not cooked before, you can simply move them from the freezer into the oven, same timing. 15 minutes baking plus more or less five minutes in grill mode. If you already cooked the zucchini and you want to thaw them from cooked, 
you have different ways that you can microwave them. Four or five bowls will take one, two minutes in the microwave to throw, or if you have an air fryer, <laughs> that's the time to use it because the air fryer will keep the crispiness outside of uh, the zucchini bowls. And usually with the air fryer, I still microwave for like 30 seconds so that inside will tow and then I'll put in their air fryer to warm up again the outside. Super yummy. If you have any leftover, you can store them in the refrigerator in an airtight container up until three days. If you do not want to use the oven, you can use the stove and simply add some extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil in a skillet and cook the zucchini bowls for 3-4 minutes on each side, flip and cook on the other side. It will be faster and most important thing, the house will not become an oven. <laughs> Are you looking for a gluten-free recipe? This recipe can become gluten-free. You just need to substitute the breadcrumbs with gluten with a gluten-free alternative. And I would suggest you either rice breadcrumbs, they are available at grocery store, or almond meal. With the almond meal, you will not get the crunchy outside that we were talking about, but at the same time, you will have a nice nutty extra flavor and it will be still yummy. I really, really hope you enjoy this summer zucchini recipe. If you're looking for more zucchini recipes, I do have a playlist here on YouTube. It should be either here or I will add the link in the comment area here below. Remember to subscribe to Bonapapa. Thank you for doing it. If you have any comment, leave them in the area here below and I will do my best to reply as soon as I can. See you next week with a new recipe. Ciao, ciao, ciao.